some Spectrum batteries. And we have an ME262. It's an RC. And if you did not notice, this doesn't fit there. Doesn't fit over here. Doesn't fit in the Protec charger. And nor does it fit in the Traxxas adapters. But this Spectrum Smart Battery goes to this. Show the plug. Which is that um, it charges these Smart Batteries. Show the plug. What about the balance? The balance adapter is in the center. It's built in. And then with say, the Traxxas, this Traxxas. is just the adapter, but on both of them, the balance it's on the, is on the edges. Side. So the Traxxas battery is proprietary. And without an adapter, you have to use a Traxxas charger to charge it. And the Spectrum battery also requires... So I also Spectrum forgot charger. I forgot what this charger was car called. Smart G2. Okay. But, um... So this is for the mini crawler ones. And they just go into a USB. And as you can see, they can fit... It's a... That hole there, and now they fit in the Easy Peak because these we adapters so adapter. they can plug in. So we can storage Boom. charge like that. TRX fours now, finally, nice. For once. Well, let's open up the box and see what this new charger, Spectrum charger, is and then, like. And then for the project batteries, I can't reach. This is for our racing batteries. Instead How do they the, get balance charge? Instead of the chart the charging ports, there's a separate balance charge here. And with this one, it has both. I just well, don't know where the other cell, one is. It's a single cell, so there's nothing to balance. Because there's only one cell. But this is Rest for the plank USB. and uh, freighter, which we have back there. But so we're going to see how the Spectrum charger compares to, to all the other chargers that we have. And the Gen Zace plugs in here. These adapters. Where's that project battery at? And these adapters yeah, plug it would in. go in here. But oh, this is a really old battery, so I wouldn't. And the balance. Do that. The balance plug is. Well, actually, no, this one's not that old. It's only like six eight months. months. Race batteries take a beating. So let's check out the Spectrum charger and see what okay. it can do. Then we're going to charge up batteries for flying. We have an adapter on the Genzase for the smaller Spectrum battery that does have a separate plug. But one time, I have an easy time unboxing things. Gone. Do we need the instructions? Probably. But that's not my, my deal that I have to deal with. Would you like for me to plug it in for you? There's plugs all around there. I'm curious if the smart battery will pick up the settings automatically just by plugging it in. Oh, that's interesting. Look Why at the they... different port sizes. Wait a minute. I don't see a port that's big enough for what we have. The right size? Guess what? Oh. We have smart adapters with the balance plugs in it. So open that Where up. Where did those? It won't fit in these two, obviously. So we got. Four. It actually has four. This. Yeah, you can only use two at a time, though. Yeah. So go ahead and plug the charger in. It looks cool. I'll turn it on. Press the on button. It's on. Okay. So unplug that. Supposedly. This charger will detect the battery 
and get it charging for you, which is interesting. Too bad we don't have any way of opening containers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so tight it was hard to cut. <laughs> How wide. <laughs> I, I only opened a small portion because of how tight I made it. You're silly. Okay, there we go. Right. Which one? I might as well plug nope, this Nope, you always do the charger first. Let's see. This fits. But I thought it would detect that as a battery. So, let's see. What does the charger say? I can't. There we go. And there it goes. Hmm. It is already charging because it detects that it's a smart battery with a circuitry built in. And that way, it does everything for you automatically, which is really cool. So it's already saying it's charging. So Wait, why is that how high up it is? Uh-huh. How does it so move that good. fast? This charger also has a standard balance port. So why don't we charge one of the smaller ones with a, with its balance What are port. these for? The Mustang. Oh. Let's see if that will plug in. Yes or no, is it not? Nope. So it's not compatible, nope. Don't oh, because th that's... The way it's made is slightly different. Yeah. It's a very similar plug style, isn't it? Yeah. It just won't go. Maybe. Well, that's too bad. Nope. We'd have to get a, another adapter. So Hold we'll on. put this. Don't do that first. Always do it on the charger okay, side right. first. Just move this stand. It's not on the. Are these two batteries charged? These we'll, one We'll cells? charge those too. They don't take long to charge, anyways. Nope. We should be putting these in battery bags once we. Get started. We'll I put can't in. see which one this fits into. Trying to figure out it's the square. Ah, I hit it in the wrong way. So now you can plug in and plug in the balance port. It goes right here is that way all the way to the left for a manual charger you have to put in all the settings correctly this is a 300 so let's go put that in make sure it's a lipo you, you can blow the battery up if you select the wrong kind it's a lipo and we do not want to put too much current into it. It's a really small battery. So we're going to match it to the battery size. It's a 300 milliamp. So we're going to go 0.3 amps. This one's already at 45% about five minutes ago. It's at 41%. So that's fast. This is 41%. I like how it shows, shows what it's doing. What do you think about the ease of charging? How you just plug it in? Yeah, and, that's amazing. Because I actually don't know how to work this charger. I the, only the know how to work the Easy Peak and this one. But I don't know how to do the Easy Peak that well. Well, it also just has you set it to LiPo and hit charge or storage, and it just goes. So yeah, far, but then there's the blue button. Right. Which, I forgot what you, I haven't had to use that thing in so long that I forgot how to work it. I used to know. Well, you want to try it and set it to storage charge sure. for a comparison. All right. Are any of these need to be storage charged? So we had some technical difficulties where we somehow stopped the video when we were trying to show how to work this thing. Well, we were saying that we were tried to try to storage charge this because. I'm just showing how it works. I haven't used it in a while, so. Storage charge, click twice. 
There we go. So which out of all these charging methods, which one so far is the easiest to use? Definitely the this spectrum. Because you just plug it in and boom it goes. That's actually really cool. actually we could charge multiple. If the connector fit, that's the catch. No, this one's the same connector as this one. Yep, so you can get it out and we'll charge the next one. Automatic. Don't mess with the, hit the back button. There we go. Sorry, I had um, this side press and hold this. Right. We don't have it all figured out yet. So that probably switches us. Yeah, there's channel one. 53%. This is. Channel two. Okay, yeah, that, these are just both the same. Thing. Cool. And it even shows remaining charge time. I think we should start out with this one. Charge rate, 0 0.9. 33 minutes. Oh, gosh. I thought it'd be faster. Okay. And it's doing, this is an 850. And it's doing 0 0.9, which is really close. I guess it can't show 0.85. Because we're doing this 300 at 0 0.3. So it did the same automatically for us. So what do you think? What's your overall impression of the Spectrum Smart S2200 G2 charger. It is an Spectrum. amazing charger. Especially for it's Spectrum already, batteries. So this is definitely already my favorite charger. Well, we can look for adapters to go from the Spectrum connector to other connectors. Since we have an external balance port, we can do other kinds of batteries with this charger. Very cool. My favorite charger for taking to the track is the Genzes because of its small size. It packs into the pit bag exceptionally well and does great at the track. A little bit more chunky with the Spectrum. And then there's the extra chunky one over there that we had to yeah. keep on a stand. We don't take the Protec to the track anymore because it's so big, but we use it on the workbench to charge stuff when we're at home. What do you have to say to everybody? Is it a recommended buy for Spectrum definitely, batteries? Definitely. Link in the description below. What do you tell everybody? This has been Deal Adventures and we'll see you flying an airplane.